My wife has this beautiful 2016 Jaguar F-Type V6 supercharged sports car. Using it as her grocery getter, church going, and people visiting fun car. To keep it fun, it has to have a good oil change. I did an oil change video in the past, but thought I would do it again for all of you new Jaguar folks. Here we go. Welcome to Road Odyssey, and I hope this video is of use to you. Please like and subscribe, and I have my Facebook page where you can see what I am constantly up to. I did a video in the past of the F-Type V6 oil change. Link will be in the description below. I've done several oil change videos. Making so many, I think, just helps you all find what you need more easily. In the past, I did my oil changes using Quick Jacks. Really cool tool, cost are between about $1,500 and $2,000. In this case, I went to Harbor Freight and got some cheap Pittsburgh ramps for about $60. Bucks. Ramps are the most tight and uncomfortable uh, under the car, especially if you're a big boy. You don't have to worry about lift points, though, and same in the case if you use an oil pump. If you don't change your oil at regular intervals, then you will eventually get a check engine light. Not that the oil is in terrible condition, but that it's likely time to get it changed. The light goes away after the oil is changed. For me, I got the car on the ramps in my drive at the point where there's an incline. This sort of helps because it kept the car fairly level, which aids in draining the most oil. Here's a quick look at the procedure that I follow. Expect to take a while. We have the V6 Supercharged, which is very similar to the V8 specs in the regards of what we're about to do. So here's what is needed to get the job done. You will need 0W20 oil found on the cap. European might be the best. Oil change kits are fine. In some, you get the oil filter and even a new drain plug. A new drain plug should, in theory... Uh, not be needed. And a note, the drain plug does not use a crush washer or gasket. Uh, just keep the existing washer on the plug. The capacity with the filter varies per the engine type and rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, I believe. So the V8s are about 7.7 .7 quarts. The V6s and V6 supercharged is 6.9 quarts. Oil filter with an O-ring uh, be sure to look for the O-ring in the package before leaving the store if you go out to a brick-and-mortar shop. Uh, you need a 10 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, a filter cap wrench. So a actual cap wrench is best. I believe there are 90 millimeters using the 3 8 inch square socket. Uh, you can use a plier wrench, that's okay, just be very gentle. Uh, a funnel is handy, a uh, drain pan, or pans, information that you really need is uh, the oil plug and the oil filter caps are hand tight, like very snug, hand tight. Uh, they're both around the 18 to 20 foot-pound torque specs. For the consumables, the oil fill cap says castor oil. I got AMS oil, 0W20, 8 quarts for about 10 bucks each, a total of around 80 bucks plus shipping. European, here again, might be best. I got the STP Extended Life S1099 2XL filter with the filter caps O ring. Now, let's begin the oil change process. And before you get started, really, you may consider letting the car warm up some to get the oil a little more viscous. Uh, that will let it run out when you drain it better. But that's up to you and how safe you feel with that. Let's begin by taking off the bottom cover up underneath. Get the 10 millimeter socket and take off a bunch of bolts. The drain plug is on the passenger side facing the tire. Get the drain pan under the oil plug. Remove the oil plug. Let the oil drain as long as possible. Take your time if you can. 
While the oil is draining, you can remove the oil filter. Remove the cap and the filter will come out with it, perhaps using a second oil pan if you have one. Remove the filter from the cap, it just pops out. Remove the O-ring from around the cap. You might need a small tool for that. Uh, take some fresh oil, preferably, and oil the O-ring uh, that goes around the cap and perhaps even the, the grooved areas where that O-ring goes on the cap. Don't have to go crazy with it. Anyway, pop the new filter into the cap, oil the smaller O-rings on the tip of the filter. Then put it all back together. Drain plug is a very snug, hand-tight, 18 to 20 foot-pounds. Oil filter cap is a very snug, hand-tight, 18 foot-pounds. I pour in almost 7 quarts for this V6 rear-wheel drive. And remember, this can vary a little bit, so double-check your manual. Uh, wait and check for leaks. Then come back, run the car for about 15 minutes. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then check for leaks again, of course. Hop in and put the car into accessory mode, which is only by pressing the start button. Only press the start button. Do not put your foot on the, the brake. This will get you into your menu. So go to the vehicle information menu option and then click on down to oil level. Press that. Now, when that pops up, if it reads okay, you are done. Otherwise, you're going to have to do some finagling. So that's just how good of a job did you just do to oil the car. Now, here's what I just did. This is the full list if you want to just pause it here. No more excitement here. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. And so, please... Relax, take it easy, and I will see you later. Bye.